Hello, welcome. Um, I'm gonna be looking at some sleeping positions today and ranking them. Now, I ain't no doctor, but I have, I have tried all these, and I know which ones are the best and what's bad about them. And I know all about these these sleeping positions. So uh, let's, let's let's get into them. Yeah, we got some uh, sleeping on your back. Sleep on your back is a popular way of sleeping. The uh, positives of sleeping on your back is it's good for your back. I think, I think it's good for your back. It, it also makes you look very civilized and cool. And now we got some negatives here. Negatives are, hurts. It hurts bad. Don't sleep in this position if you don't want to get hurt. Now we're gonna get to sleeping on your side. Sleeping on your side is a popular way of sleeping. Unlike sleeping on your back, sleeping on your side is very comfortable. The negatives of sleeping on your side is that your spine will eventually break. When your spine breaks, you die. So, so if you don't, 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 don't want to die, don't sleep on your side. The next step is sleeping on your stomach. This is a popular way of sleeping. The positive of sleeping on your stomach is it's comfortable for some people, not everyone. Not everyone enjoys this method of sleeping. Negative to sleeping on your stomach is you can't breathe while you do it. Another negative is your spine will eventually break, except a lot faster than sleeping on your side, like a few days. It'll break in a few days and your spine will break and, and, you, and, and you will die. So if you don't want to not breathe and you don't want to die, then don't sleep on your stomach. But not least, my personal favorite, the method I use every night, sleeping on your lung. The positive of sleeping on your lung is it's the most comfortable. The lung is squishy and moldable, which allows for the best sleeping experience possible. Next one, it makes you look incredibly civilized and incredibly cool to sleep on your lung. And finally, sleeping on your lung is great for your back. Your spine will not break. You will live. Now for the negatives of this method. First off, obviously, it requires the removal of the lung, which may be uncomfortable for some. Next up, when you're done sleeping on your lung, the lung is really hard to put back. Even if you put it back properly, it won't function quite as well as it did before you took it out. And the final negative for sleeping on your lung is... Eventually, the lung that you're sleeping on will pop. When this happens, you'll have to take your other lung out so you can sleep on that one instead. And when this happens, you die. That being said, it's important to know that most lungs will last over 50 years. So you should be fine. Anyway, I hope you found this helpful. And goodbye. And I'm glad to not have to be talking in this stupid voice anymore.